What I always tell guys when I work them out, no matter high school or college, I'm like, look, the easiest way to make the league is play defense. Mm. They, don't, they don't need you to come in there and try to average 25 or 30. That's what they paying Brian $40 million for. That's what they paying, you know, uh, uh, Russ $40, 50000000 million for. They, they the scorers in the league. That's what, they already got that lined up on the team. Whatever team you go to, it's already lined up. You just need to rebound. Yo, you just need to rebound, play defense. That's what's going to keep you on the floor. Motherfuckers don't want to listen. I was going to say, you feel like guys buy into it, or? I, I say about 10% do. 10% do. But 90, 90% of them don't. Doesn't teach our players how to play the right way. It's it's money that is running AAU. Money, teams after teams. They, like it's a money grab. It's money driven. So everybody's trying to figure out how to get as much money out of the kids, out of their talent, at every stage. Middle school, high school, college. Right? You're for paying two hundred dollars for the month. Like six hundred, if I say. Six hundred for the month. Six, damn. Six hundred for the month. Right? For the one player, why would I want to practice you six, seven hours when I can just do the one hour with you twice a week? If I'm paying you $600, period, right? You have two choices. You can train me for an hour twice a week, or you can train me for five hours, seven days a week. Which one are you gonna do for the 600? When you go to the, the clubs, right? Think about clubs, right? Yeah. The celebrities, the people with the money, don't pay. Right. It's everybody else. Right. AAU basketball, the elite. The good kids don't They pay. paid you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So for me to pay you, who I got to get the money from? Them. Mm -hmm. On the outside. Mm -hmm. Same with So Carlos. I got to create, I got to create a, a bronze team, a mm -hmm. silver team. Okay. So I got to create all these sorry ass groups of kids okay. and parents okay. to make up for money. So. The money is not from the elite, so like over there, their elite team, yeah, they not paying. It's the other hundred that just want to be a part of a program. Yeah. Right. That's, that's where they're getting their money okay. from. School ball doesn't mean anything anymore. So y'all got these kids all day. Every single school has a gym, but yet y'all don't have someone who is a professional on how to use it to get the kids to the next level. So if you are a kid that's really serious about, you know, I want to make basketball a career, like this is my passion. I got discipline, I got sacrifice, all that stuff. Where are you going to go? You going to go play AAU. P-E-D-A-G-O-G-Y. Pedagogy. And that means basically the whole curriculum of how to teach, the method of teaching. There is no pedagogical training going on in the world of basketball right now. No one is teaching coaches how to coach. I hate AAU basketball. I think it exploits these kids. I wish they would just do something other, like play baseball, another sport. And they're not really teaching them structure. So now if my son's 18 years old and he's being recruited, I ask myself, who's more important? Is it the AAU coach more important, or is this high school coach? And then when you watch them play, when they're playing AAU today, they just run up and down, no structure, and then when they get to their high school team, they're not playing well. I love AAU, I think it's a good place to still keep it, but I am challenging some of the coaches and some of the directors today, saying, hey, if you're gonna do this, teach them the right way. So my question for you guys, people at home, is that are you happy with the AAU system today? And if you have a kid, 18 years old, who are you directing him to and who are you saying, you know what, listen to this coach, he's teaching you the right thing, or listen to this coach, or are you saying, hey, you coach, before you have my son, if you're not showing him structure, you can't have my son. I teach him myself. The history, and there's been slippage as we continue to go from generation to generation. And I'll, I'll wrap it up and sum it up this way. The educators, used to volunteer to be coaches. Mm. And they would teach mm. life lessons. Mm. And it started with this. Yeah. You play as you live. You play as you live. You live right, yeah. you play right.